Now, I'm, I'm, see, I'm trying to hold your leg. Stretch your leg. Yeah, see, I'm losing it. Now go ahead, hit the spin. Okay, now, you see how like you're up in the stack right here? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, close your knees, wrap it up. Nice and mm -hmm. tight. Now, if you could sweep me to my back, you obviously would. But I'll put my leg up, you know? Mm -hmm. So now, pivot and spin back out like this. Spin, and then step on my hip. Oh, okay. good. Now you're using the power of your leg to like, you know, pull the kimura out. And then now, if you try to hurt me with the kimura, uh -huh. start to hurt the kimura. He's gonna roll, he's gonna end up right here in the arm bar. Okay. Okay, do you see that? If I, if I put my leg over your back, you wouldn't be able to roll, right? From here, show me what you can do. Okay, I'm here, boom, so lock your kimura. Like from here? Yes. And then when you go to roll, I put my leg. No, I'll still, you can still roll. roll. Here's the thing, if, if you, you put the foot on the hip in order to pry the arm out, yes? Uh -huh. Now, if you put, like, say you start to do the quad. I'm gonna start to roll. You can try to stop me from rolling, right? Uh -huh. But when you do the Kimura, like keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. Oh yeah. Gonna I'm gonna roll, like it's gonna make me roll. But now what you have to do is then prepare your next move. Yeah. Which is your straight arm lock. Or you better be in position with this leg on the bottom side, on the chip, this open, so that you can come on top. You see your Kimura now? Yeah. No, keep the Kimura. Good, now you can come on top, and then you can finish in side control. Leg over the head, leg over the head. Oh, Put your yeah. leg over the head, yep, yeah. and then right there. Okay. Good, do you understand? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I mean, cool. all of this between Kimura and armbar, it's connected. Because I'm kind right. of pulling you this way, so you, you... Yeah, the guy's gotta go. Yes. When, when I have the Kimura, I'm trying to pull it out. You know, I was like trying to kick and pull it out, right? But you keep your hand inside, so I don't. Yeah, so that's where like, I'm swinging, and then I'm trying to catch you here. Uh -huh. If you keep your base, and you see how like, I'm trying to climb up the elbow, but keep your base. Sometimes guys will be able to, they'll start to stack me, see that? And then I can spin on out and go back to prying uh -huh. it out. Then as I pry it out, I'm gonna start to come over you. As I come over, as I come over you, and you start to roll. Which is this one? Yeah, it's the only way you can. Oh. You see, my legs are now in position. Yeah. I close my legs. I never let go of the kimura uh -huh. because if I let go of the kimura, it le you, you see, you feel it right away, huh? Yeah. Like you might be able to escape. So I use the kimura grip. Like sometimes we're straightening the kimura, sometimes we're pulling it. But look at this. I pull and I push the wrist. Oh yeah. So cool. that now when you try to move around, it's really hard. Now, right now, the leg configuration, my right foot's in your armpit. Uh -huh. that, that can be a little bit cumbersome to finish the armbar because your head is not being pinned. Yes, like this, it is. See, if I get into the standard, yeah. you try to do a sit-up, you can't do a sit-up. Uh -huh. Like this, sometimes your right arm can come over my arm, or my leg, yeah, like that. But reach more up here for higher leverage. Yeah. Yes, and just kind of go that way, like a sit-up. You see, like, it's kind of hard to like, you see? You yeah. see how you're making it hard for me? Yeah. So that's okay, that happens. Bring you back down, try to go X break, so you're locked, right? Because you don't want to get beat with the arm bar. So then I go X break and then I can control you like this. Yeah. It's either, I have to have what I say, like a balanced position, uh -huh. X break, or maybe, you know, basic arm bar. Mm -hmm. if, you have, if you have this arm bar, it can work too, mm -hmm. as long as I isolate your shoulder really good. But then, as you know, you might try to hitchhike, you might try to get the leg off the head, things like that, it complicates things. That's why this arm bar is always a little bit better uh -huh. to have the chest leg over here. Yeah. And then the Kimura grip will help keep you in position. Mm -hmm. If I was like this and you tried to move around, I, like, I, can, move. I can still control you because of the Kimura. Yeah. That's why I always say, don't let go of the Kimura. That way my legs can get set into positions that I like, X break, whatever, anything, uh -huh. and then, when the time is right and I separate your grip, I can finish it. Okay? That's cool. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, that swivel back in is hard. Like the, the one where you yeah, go it, back? Yeah, it's hard, but remember, it's like based on your opponent too. Like if your opponent pushes on you in the right, in the, when I say right way, I mean if he's trying to defend his arm, mm -hmm. a lot of times he gives you the energy you need to spin. Can I try one more time? Yeah. But if he, so if you feel that it's hard to move, uh -huh. it's probably because that move is not available mm -hmm. and there's another move available. So don't try to force it. Yes. 
Okay. So it's real important to not force it. So like when the door's locked, it you know, quit quit trying to open it. Just sometimes you just gotta go right here and there's an open opening. Okay. So it's um, that's what I know. It's crazy, it's real confusing. So again, let's say we're in half guard. See, half guard, and you're using a knee shield, right? And now you feel like I'm gonna defend your Kimura. So you escape that leg, you hit your spin. Yeah, don't be in a rush. Uh, next time, straighten out your legs and try to knock me down. Try to try to push this into my body. Yeah, you see that? Yeah. And then now you have your arm bar, bring your left knee up. Uh, yeah, you don't want to trap under my back. And remember, keep the Kimura. Uh -huh. Why? So then uh, now, so what I do, I can't like roll out this way. I can't, I can't go anywhere. And then I and keep then this can, way. And then you can transfer. And then you can, if you want to do X-ray, you can do X-ray. Or if you just want a standard, you can kick the biceps for the basics of this one. Mm -hmm. Kick the biceps. You know, yeah, don't worry about two. Just one. This one, head leg, keeps me down. This okay. keeps me down. And then right here. So I can't get up. And now I'm trying to defend as best I can. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay. Does it make sense? Yeah. We have to... Uh, I want to try to do the other one. You know the one where I swivel back in and put my over? Yeah, okay. Well, I'll let you do that on once on this one. So you go Kimura. Go ahead, hit your spin. So what happens is when you hit your spin, I, I like, see how I kept my balance this way, so I'm not gonna fall. Yeah. Now throw the arm bar. So, the arm bar. Yes. Now look, you're about to finish me. Do you uh -huh. understand? Yeah. If you straighten my arm, you'll tap me out, right? Yeah. So when you're here, I drive in. When I oh. drive in, boom! Now go ahead. Foot on the hip, and then now you're prying it out. You achieved it, uh -huh. so I'm in big trouble. You're about to break my shoulder. So what do I have to do? To roll. You know I'm gonna do it. As I roll, boom, I land right into the arm bar, and then it's your time to okay. seal the deal. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. See that? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Did you learn anything from that, Gary? Yeah. Sure. Cool. <laughs> we can work on that if you want. In a little bit? Yeah. Um, <coughs> Whatever, the, it's a popular thing, the, the, what I call the Kimura spin. Mm -hmm. You know, people always go Kimura trap, you know, because Avalon has his videos, uh, the Kimura trap videos. Um, it's crazy how, how much that has changed jujitsu. Like, I, I almost think I hear the phrase Kimura trap more than I hear Kimura. Sure. <laughs> people just call it the Kimura trap now, so uh, I find it kind of interesting because the Kimura's always been around, but. Definitely uh, Avalon's uh, videos and, and his techniques have kind of permeated. Um, but uh, it's still a Kamar. <laughs> so, Kamar trap. Okay? Good job today. All right? Love it. Thank you. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Teach me grappling. Hope you guys enjoyed. Little session with uh, Gino right here. White belt, but stud white belt. Coming up in the world, you guys have been seeing this guy since. If you guys go back, like maybe six months, S seven, seven well, months. Seven months. You know when he first started, I was telling him to relax, relax, relax. Now, this guy, I only tell him to relax once a week. And the <laughs> other, the other four days he trains, I'm like, dude, you're doing great. So I'm very proud of you. Thank okay? you. Nice job. Mm -hmm. See you later. Take it easy. All right, let's train. Let's do it. <laughs>